Over the years, I've had a handful of what I would call like memorable grizzly bear moments. But this one I just had in British Columbia is the closest call I've had yet, and in a way, the most unnerving. We were actually hunting grizzly bears, working our way up into this alpine basin in this small, isolated mountain range. I'm with a guy, Ryan Callahan, who I'm friends with because he works at the apparel company for his life. Ryan's done a lot of guiding in BC and, and Montana. He's kind of been around the block a lot. And we get up just kind of like where it starts to look really good, meaning like good visibility. You can really see what's going on. And all of a sudden, like out of our side view comes like, not just one bear, but four of them. It's a sow packing three little spring-born cubs with her. And she looks almost mad, like, she'd like eat all the blueberries on this blueberry bush, and when she'd eat it, she'd look like she was pissed at the blueberry bush. And she'd be like, and like, start eating on another blueberry bush. They were watching her carry on, and she started coming back our way. Is that right there? Yeah, let's just make a little bit of noise and let her go. And somebody's here. We've been saying things like, get, get, get. Callahan's going, hey, mom. Hey, mom. I mean, we're just like, you don't really know what hey. to say. Like, you can speak in tongues. You're just trying to make noise that the bear knows you're coming. The bear don't care about any of this at all. And I can hear this thing woofing and barking. Woof, woof, woof. You're barking at us? Yeah. Hey, mom. Take your kids and go. See her? Hey, mom. She just came through this gap. She's coming this way. She comes around a tree, we chamber around. Hey, Mom! Hey, Mom! Hey! Callahan hey. is shooting out in front of her. And she doesn't care at all. And meanwhile, these three cubs are behind her like, what's going on? What's up, Mom? What's going on? I will shoot. I will, I'm going to kill this sow. And she spun. Peels off, spins away, and Callahan says, I'll never forget it. I want to get him a t-shirt with him and his mustache. And this, uh, he says, smell us now, lady. Smell us now, lady. That's the sentence that comes to Callahan's mind the minute a grizzly bear changes his mind, decides not to maul him. What he's referring to is, as she cuts, she gets like, she gets like a downwind direction, you know? And so Ryan's saying like, now the wind will carry my odor to realize that we're people and we shouldn't be messed with. And so what he yells is, smell us now, lady. Which can be kind of our, it's like the meat eater rattling cry now. Smell us now, lady.